Robert. Thirteen lives. <laughs> Thirteen years. Oh, God. Being married. Oh, Robert. I flew in on a helicopter. Mm -hmm. Damn. I flew in. He sound like Bill Cosby. Oh my goodness. I wanted to ask you something. Can you sing a song for me? Which one? Love Letter. Oh. Did you get my call? Did, hold on. Y'all heard that? He said, oh. Like, yeah, you really gonna be moaning the night, sucker. And she ugly, too. Oh, Kelly, if you would've... Man, only if he could see her face, man. She over there looking like a Puerto Rican Peter Pan. Oh, my goodness. Can you sing a song for me? Like, damn, at least put a cutie on the phone. Got your ugly... <laughs> Got your smuggly daughter. Said, oh... She had to guide him through the damn song. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Run that back. I told y'all, this take number three. I wanted to ask you something. Can you sing a song for me? Which one? Love Letter. Uh, Did you? Uh, like, really? Like, I can tell you ugly, but how you ask the question? Uh, hold on. <laughs> but one thing for sure. R. Kelly having to party up in jail. I'm talking about girls to the left, girls to the right, regardless if they got penises or not. Oh my goodness. Shoot, he liked that type of freaky stuff. He might not want to come home from jail. Singing the girls over the phone, got all them love letters stacked up. He don't need no pillows or nothing. All that fan mail keeping him warm at night. And plus, you ain't got to worry about paying no bills, people paying you to sing to their kids. Man, some sad stuff, but he might just want to stay up in there. Kelly says he had about $350,000 and he wanted to start a new account, but it would take a week to clear. Now he claims that his ex-wife, Andrea Kelly, lied in the Lifetime docuseries. Your ex-wife says Three, you abused her, Robert. 13 lives! Your... 13 years! Damn, I ain't never seen all Kelly act like that. He said, thir lies! Lies! Your... 13 years! Your ex-wife says Three, you abused her, Robert. Thirteen lives. Right. Thirteen years. Oh my goodness. Being married. I flew in on a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. I flew in on a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Shit, maybe that's Bill Cosby's grandson or something. Hello, hello, who this is? Hello? How you doing, man? This is God by the missus. Hey, what's going on, God Body? How you feeling, brother? Man, I'm feeling good, man. I want to give a special shout out to you, man, for um, talking about this topic, man. It's a real hot topic right here. You know what I'm talking about? Mm hmm. Appreciate Everybody it, man. Else. But no. uh, you know what? I believe that. Um, wait, what's going on? We, we need you, you to cut that off in the background. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I got it. Pretty please. All right. Mm -hmm. I believe, I believe what happen, man? If they don't eat up, then I can't send you out of jail, bro. Mm -hmm. They're not, you know, if they, if they throw the book at him and give him thirty years, twenty years, man, he gonna snitch on everybody. Mm -hmm. Speak on, bro. Other, I believe there's too many other celebrities that you know that he got hardcore evidence on that he can snitch on. You know, just like the class of six nine, it's, it'll be the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe he's going to lay down no 20 years, man. I, and I, I, think that, I think that what's going on is that they that's why he ain't been sentenced yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, they're trying to, they, they, they're in negotiation, in other words. Mm -hmm. However, however, my thoughts about it is, um, I mean, hey, man, like, you know, everybody's saying, it's the parents that, that should have been accountable for this. And not just, you know, just, a, you know, he's not just totally, you know, where everybody is personifying him to be. But it's a lot of other people that's doing the same thing that he has hardcore evidence on. Just like with the old white man, what's his name, Epstein or whatever, and they were saying Jay Z was in some of his parties. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you know, it, I, I, don't, I don't think he deserves to be locked up like that, man. He take nothing. 
Yeah. Everybody gave it to him. He didn't take nothing. Oh my you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, man, you know, this, it's, 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 with all, it's beyond a shadow of a doubt that the parents were suddenly sold their kids to the man. You know, they, they, they said, here, here go my daughter, here go my daughter. You know what I'm saying? These niggas broke, man. These niggas do anything for some money, man. And who else better to do it than with a celebrity? Like you said, you know, oh, these guys, oh my daughter, well, I care. That's the first thing they're going to say. And so it pitches all their phones. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think that we just going a little bit too hard on him. Because you know what? I'm going to tell you something. This is, this is big facts right here. Every year in the Mormon church, different religions, they, they do this shit every day, every year, man. Different religions, the Mormon religion practice in grown men marrying underage girls. Well, we don't say nothing about that. We don't, you know, because a, a nigga doing it now, they want to just, you know, put them all on blast. Mm. But white folks do this shit every day. So you saying what R. Kelly did was justified because they do the same thing in the Mormon church. Oh my God. No, no, I'm saying that due to the parents, like with Aaliyah, Aaliyah, her situation, her parents signed the paperwork, releasing her and allowing her to marry him. He didn't, he know, he only thing he got locked up for was, was, uh, he paid a bitch at the drive license place, you know, to change his switch his idea. But still, her parents signed him over, signed her over. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He ain't, took, he took nothing. But what I'm saying is, in the Mormon religion, they practice this shit, and, and, uh, this is quite common practice in the Mormon church for a, an adult to marry a, a, a 14 year old. 13 year old girl. All you gotta do is Google it. Mm, mm, but she didn't talk about the white folks, but see, you know, when it's coming to an age where it seems like niggas are start, we start to do shit that white folks do. And because of it, they wanna lock us up for it. You know what I mean? But this shit been going on, and we have been aware of it for all, all eternity. But now that black folks doing it, oh, they wanna change the laws and Throw the book at us and all that shit like that, man. I believe, I believe, you know, I can't, you can look at his eyes, man. Look at his eyes. You can tell he kind of, all his dogs ain't barking. You can tell he kind of slow, man. But he, he wasn't no fool, though. He wasn't no damn fool. I see him at, uh, at one of his damn concerts. He's singing to the girl, talking about wiping him down, and the girl, I was like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. And of course, you know, as as a, as a grown man myself, and I, I'm sure you could agree with me, you know, there's a saying that the young girls got more miles than the old girls. Oh, hold on, bro. So I can't agree with you because I wouldn't know what a young girl got going on. But I appreciate your phone call. And make sure you call back whenever you feel like uh, all these pedophiles. Hold on. Let me tell y'all something. This ain't no golden opportunity to get your pedo ass on the phone trying to take up for all the pedos of the world. Because that's all y'all brothers doing from the first one to the last one. Oh, it's all right. White people do it. Well, shoot, I don't eat mayonnaise. White people do. That don't mean I'm going to go out there and get me a big-ass turkey sandwich. Let me stop lying. I do eat mayonnaise. Oh, my goodness. Shit, the more, more the better. I wish they would give me my sandwich without no mayonnaise on it. I'm going to go up in there and act the fool. Your ex-wife says Three. you abused her, Robert. Thirteen lives. <laughs> oh my Thirteen years. Being married. Oh, Robert. Oh my goodness. I flew in on a helicopter. Oh, you did. For real. I flew in. Gail King looking like, Lord have mercy, this nigga slow. She like, yeah, okay, Kelly. On the helicopter. Helicopter. Look at Gail. She like, oh my God. Oh my God. On a helicopter. Oh, Robert. Yeah. Don't cry. Can somebody get us some tissue? I don't want <laughs> Can somebody get his baby vibe? I don't want no tissue. Reggie, play it again. Can somebody get us some tissue? I don't want no tissue. Big Not baby. Once have I ever 
had a domestic violence call at the house. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Who this is? Hello there. How are you? Hey, I'm doing real good. Who this be? This be Valerie. Hey, how you doing, Valerie? We sitting over here talking about what's going on with R. Kelly. And my question for you yes, is, sir. should R. Kelly get a second chance at life, or do you think they should just let him sit up in there and rot? Ooh, you know, I don't think that R. Kelly is beyond uh, getting, what's the word I'm looking for, beyond reproach, or beyond that he, he couldn't come back. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we look at other... I mean, Elvis, he loved young girls. And again, you know, I, when I talk, when we, people start talking about this, I say, you can pull up on Barbara Walters, uh, Barbara, Barbara Walters interview that his um, Priscilla Presley did when she talked about, she was in the ninth grade staying there with Elvis and, mm. and how he gave her pills to help her stay awake. So all I'm saying is that what R. Kelly did is not like other people haven't done it. But with all that being said, does he deserve a second chance? I, I really don't know. I think what went down in this last trial, I do feel that some of it was wrong. They just wanted to get him whatever way they could get him. I mean, RICO acts, isn't that usually for gangsters and mob people mm -hmm. that they got him on RICO acts? And so um, I, I don't know. I don't know if he can come back. But I wanted to ask you, do you really think that that, that – uh, the girl playing the, on the phone. Do you think that was real? Oh, I man. I thought that was fake. I, I think that was him. Unless somebody know how to sing and sound like R. Kelly in the same jail as R. Kelly. But, man, that sounded like R. Kelly to me. Because that's what I'm... I mean, it did sound exactly like him. Now, if that really was him, and he knows that he was on the phone with a little young girl giggling like that, then, no, he doesn't deserve a second chance because, obviously, he's learned nothing. So, I, you know what? If that if that was real, no, he does not deserve a second chance. But it's the same because thing when he was home. Her daddy put him on the phone with her. Ain't like R. Kelly knew where she lived at or had her phone number. It'd be the parents mm -hmm. providing their kids to R. Kelly. So what difference do it make? He in jail and got people doing the same thing they was doing on the street, giving him yep. their kids. Eight and abetting him. And that's exactly what they did. I always say it shouldn't have only been, it should not only be him in the jail cell, but you know how the legal world works. R. Kelly takes the fall for everything, and the people who actually helped him, along with all that disgusting stuff, that they took a plea and they got out of it. Because that one guy who said, oh, yeah, I was the one who falsified um, the, um, Aaliyah's age on the marriage certificate. I mean, he even sat up there and fixed his mouth to say that mm. on camera. Mm -hmm. I mean, hello. So he did something illegal. Why isn't he in jail? So you're right. It's the same thing. Same thing. They ate and abetting him, and he's sitting in the jail cell. If that call was real, I'm praying that that was just somebody who really could do a good R. Kelly impersonation. Yeah, because me too. Because if it's not, yeah, if it's not, R. Kelly ain't learned nothing, and these sorry parents haven't learned anything either. Mm hmm. Some sad stuff. And before I let you go, I got to ask you this question because it's been yes, running sir. through my mind. When you was younger, did you like older men? No, but I had older men always come at me. Oh and, you know, like, I just really was thinking about this with R. Kelly because I, when I turned 13, I, I was built. I was fat. I had a nice body. So older men, so it made me look older than I was. So I would have older men all the time try to talk to me. And it actually scared me. So, no, I wasn't into that, but they sure tried. Yeah, man, there's a lot of dudes out there. They just... Horned bastards. They thinking with their other head. And if you got a little body, some legs or whatever, they going to be trying to smash. So how did you deal with that? Did you tell your parents about it? Or how did you go about avoiding these older men? Yep, told my parents. And I had an older brother. I had an older brother who protected me, too. Yep, because, you know, we will be like guys, older guys in the neighborhood hollering at you, hollering at you. You know, I'm 13, 14 years old. You know, can I walk with you? <laughs> You know, you want to ride with me, all kind of stuff. So I would tell my family. And then also, I would just stay away from it. And, you know, again, it just trips me out because 
no matter what these girls look like on the outside, you talk to these teenagers, it takes take you two minutes to know that they're a kid, that they, they don't have, they, they don't, they, you know, let's keep it real. What they say, the brain, the frontal lobe is not completely developed until you're 25 years old. These are babies. They're children. And I don't care what their bodies look like. These, these men, these perverts, these pedos running after these little young teenage girls, they know what they're doing, and they know that they're children. I don't care what they look like. I don't care. Everybody's like, oh, they fast and this and that. Yeah, some of those girls are fast. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that, but they still don't deserve that. They, they're still, you're still the adult. You're still the adult in the equation. I don't care how fast they are or whatever. I've had, I, I teach in high school. I had some little teenage boys say some things that, that, I, um, that I didn't like before. So what was I supposed to do, feed on that? Hold you know on. what I'm saying? You so, show up to school with them little <laughs> miniskirts on with that booty shaking and them boys no, be saying stuff. No, no. You know, I get really mad about that. I'm such a professional when it comes to that because I have a teenage son myself and I would never, right? But, no, I got some donk, okay? I got some donk, SAT. Yeah, and, and that's and what I've I wanted to talk about. Talk about mm-hmm. Yeah, I've heard some of them talk about my backside before yeah. you know say some inappropriate thing they couldn't help they sell and my thing is i was wondering <laughs> if you had a instagram or facebook maybe a tiktok maybe i could sing to you like all kelly was singing to them girls oh yeah, what do you think i wait i don't see nothing wrong with a little mm, bumpy i don't see nothing baby. wrong with it neither look you're gonna have to hit me up on facebook wrong. tonight matter of fact instagram <laughs> you're gonna have to hit me up on one of them sites man because i'm looking for you but before i let you go i got check one more on, question hold on check, check you me out, out on tiktok tiktok man, black ain't... diamond on, black diamond 3976 hold on wait 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 i ain't even got no tiktok but i'm gonna get one tonight hold on let me put this in my notes real quick uh hold on y'all she said black Diamond. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, and what was Three, it? nine, seven, six. Three, nine, seven, six. Look, I'm about to get on TikTok tonight and see what's really yes, good. Check me out. And for y'all brothers out there, y'all better not try to holler. I did. I look. I got first dibs on her. But before I let you go, <laughs> I gotta ask you this yes. question real quick. Now you <laughs> said when you was younger, it was a bunch of guys trying to holler at you. Now, what do yes, you think? Sir. What you think your parents would have said if you would have came in the house and said, Mama, R. Kelly out there in the Ferrari trying to get my phone number? Let me tell you about my mama. My mom and daddy, Alabama, my mother was raised. My father was raised in Mississippi. Well, I grew up in the north, though. We grew up in the north. My mama didn't play. I couldn't even have sleepovers. And I remember the first question my mother would ask if I wanted to sleep over. Do they got an older brother? Do they got a male? Yes. No, you can't go. So there you go. My mama, it don't matter if I could sing like Whitney Houston or something. And you know what? Even if that was the case, even if I did want to pursue a musical career, my mother would have been, my mother just was from that old school, like, that's foolishness. You're going to get your education. No, I wasn't even like that. But even in the case, if it was, Mm -hmm. my mama would have been right next to me. She didn't play that. She was very, very protective of me. So you don't think they would have came outside? Hey, R. Kelly, how you doing? What you doing over here? Can I get a hug? Can I take your picture? I love your music. You don't think they would have went outside to holla at Kells? I'm serious. I had an old school from the South Southern Mama, and she didn't play any of that. Mm-hmm. Nope, I know she wouldn't have. Like I said, I never in my life had, did a sleepover, never got to do any of those things when I was growing up. I just wasn't allowed, but now I understand why. Yo, yeah, mate, my mother was protecting me. Yeah, that's beautiful. You you had a beautiful, well, you got a beautiful mama, a beautiful fan. I'm over here trying to set up this TikTok. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Oh my. I heard yes, what you said and everything. Black, Black Diamond, 3976. Oh, yes, Lord. I'm about to look that up right now. And uh, Black Diamond, I'm going to holler at you as soon as I get set up on TikTok. And don't you be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like it. Mm-hmm. I, I certainly will. Back. I love your videos. Uh, I love you. I love You're so you great. Too, you sister. make me laugh. Oh, yes. You make <laughs> okay, me smile. God bless. All right. God bless. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, have mercy. That's that black chocolate right there, man. And like I said, Don't y'all be trying to holler on TikTok, because that ain't what we came here for. I'm not disrespecting her by saying she's not telling the truth. 
I'm just being honest. Somebody sent me something on my phone and said that I tied her. Oh, that people. oh my god, that's Bill Cosby. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Oh my Hold on. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Who this is? Hey, this is D. How you doing tonight? Oh, I'm over here doing marvelous. D, how you feeling? Oh, I'm good. That's what I like to hear. Oh, that's real good. We talking about R. Kelly. He said he don't even know how to hog tie people. They lying on him. He's just a baby boy. <laughs> Shoot, he need to be in the next How move. Forget Tyrese. Die? He the real baby boy out here. Look, my question for you is, should R. Kelly get a second chance at life? Is people out here doing way worse, done did some more uh, gross things, or if that's a word, they've been doing wrong. R. Kelly did wrong, but do you feel like he should get a second chance at life? Hell no. Mm. Why not? Mm -mm. Because he already had a second chance. Well, I mean... I don't remember that. <laughs> they ain't let okay, him out so, this time. Okay, so one thing with the tape that we heard of, the mm -hmm. other thing with with Aaliyah when they got married, you know, and everybody can say, oh, that was the, back then, it was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But now that you're fully aware about what's going on, like, why are all these girls so young, you know? Why are all their parents involved as well? That too. And I think they should be locked up as well, honestly. People watched that uh, documentary, Surviving R. Kelly, and the girl Sparkle was talking about how she was in the studio with R. Kelly, and she brought her niece to the studio. Now, why her niece ain't no singer. Her niece ain't got mm -hmm. nothing to do with the studio where R. Kelly in there singing them love songs, grown people in there smoking a drink. Why would you bring your 12-year-old niece to the exactly. studio? Exactly. Feeding the beast. Feeding the, the, the beast. And then said, mm -hmm. we went in there and she was in there one time and we don't even know how she got there. She was just in the studio with all Kelly. And that wasn't no red flags. How the hell she get up there? Exactly. You know, that's some bullshit. Mm. You know exactly what you was trying to do. You was tipping her out too. That's what they do. And like that last caller, she said, if all Kelly came over there in the brand new Benz, her mother would have came out there and cussed them out. I beg the difference. I don't know her mama. You know, maybe her mama would have. But a lot of people, mamas, man, they see R. Kelly outside sitting on them things, looking all clean and sharp, got that jewelry blinging. Hey, how you doing, R. Kelly? Come on in. Sit down. Have some dinner. Have my daughter. Right. Like, what kind of shit is that? Mm -hmm. I say keep him in jail. Let him um, get pimped out in the pot. Let the pot boss take care of him. That's real talk. Hey, who your favorite rapper that you love listening to or your favorite singer, R&B singer that's a male? Who, who you feeling nowadays? Oh, okay. Don't judge me, but Kanye's my favorite rapper. Oh my and goodness. my favorite um, singer is Usher. So if Usher came by your house and he knocked on your door on a rainy night, uh, can I use your phone? I I'm stranded out here. Can I come in and use your phone? You gonna let Usher in your house? Hell yeah. <laughs> you you got kids? Nah, uh-uh. Okay, Kanye crazy ass come to your house, got blood all over his shirt with a knife in his hand. Can you let me in so I can take a shower? You gonna let Kanye in your house? Mm. Yeah, I'll let him in the house. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking I, about. I gotta ask these questions and I need to film it. I need to find out what's going on so I can capitalize. You know what? So you can capitalize. Thank you, sister. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. You keeping it a buck right now. It ain't hard for a celebrity to get anything that they want from somebody, man. As long as you're a celebrity, as long right. as you're famous, people will welcome you in, in their homes, have you sitting at their table. They would invite you to their family members, their kids, you name it. They're going to treat you like mm -hmm. you're the Lord and Savior. And that's what's messed up about the situation. Yeah, you make your point right there. That's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. I think they get starstruck with, oh, it's just R. Kelly. And then they disregard everything else that, you know, what he's going through. So I'm just like, wow, you know, you know the history of R. Kelly. You know all this. Like, why are you offering your daughter? Yeah. And one more question. Let's say I came over there on a late night and had nothing on but a raincoat. 
and I needed to use your phone. I was stranded. I needed to get up in there. You gonna let me up in there? <laughs> My husband would beat your ass. Oh, now you married. Kidding. Now you got a whole husband and he know how to fight too. Oh, you got me all over the place, sister. You dead wrong for that. Oh, you would let Usher and Kanye up in your house, but now you a married woman with kids. You know well, what? I appreciate no, your I phone call. But no, oh, I ain't no, no, I ain't trying. No, you don't. It's all good though, because you dead wrong. And I'm going to holler at you late. That don't piss me off, man. See how women do? Oh, you ain't married when it come to Usher. No, you ain't got no man when it come to Kanye, but when it come to me, your husband this, your husband that. Y'all don't even be married for real, for real. Let me go. Matter of fact, I'm going to play this, then I'm about to get up out of here because that really pissed me off. Hold on, y'all got to see R. Kelly. Gail King treat him like he her kindergarten student or something. A whole tired her. He 50 going on 12, man. He just a baby boy. Look, if John Singleston was still alive, oh man, do baby boy part two. Let R. Kelly get out of jail. Baby boy part two. Get Ving Rains back. Forget Tyrese. Let R. Kelly do the movie. I bet you. That'll sell a whole lot of tickets, man. I'll go see that movie over and over. R. Kelly living with Yvette. And Yvette got a daughter. And R. Kelly, he, <laughs> he trying to contain himself. The girl walking around with them little shorts on. Hey, I'm just a baby boy. Look, y'all going to have to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. I got so much love for y'all. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification button, too. And hit that cash app, dollar sign, Sean Blaze Docs. I sure appreciate it, man. Look, Reggie, hand me my coat, man. <laughs>